Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me and if you do and you're back, thank you so much. I'm happy you're back. Today we are decluttering. We are attacking my closet. It's one of those like try on everything in my closet type videos, but I mean the way that I do them, I bite it off in chunks. I cannot do the whole closet. I did the whole closet last year. That video was crazy. I actually have a full playlist of decluttering if you want to check that out if you're into that kind of thing. Me personally, I'm not so into that kind of thing and that's why I find myself in these kind of situations where I desperately need to declutter. Today we are focusing on jackets and coats. Last week I bought a new coat and I felt like it was so cute. I had to have it, but then I got home and I felt kind of stupid. Like you got enough girl, you need to declutter. So that's what we're focusing on today. I know that I can declutter and donate some of these coats and jackets and maybe also pullovers if I'm gonna get crazy. We'll see what happens. I can donate them and they will find new homes, people that will love them more than I've been loving them lately because I just haven't been wearing all of them. So it needs to be done. We're gonna do it together. This is like my great motivator recording it. So yes, we're doing it together. Thanks for coming along on this journey. I hate when people call everything a journey. So like I have to do it. I don't know why my brain works that way. Anyway, my closet is a mess. My life is a mess. I'm moving soon. I don't, I don't even wanna think about it. We're walking backwards. I'm a little bit scared. The closet is spooky and dark. Let's look at it. It's crazy in here. Yes. Oh my gosh, this lighting, not so cute. Also, I accidentally went like full Farrah today. Anyway, I definitely need to clean out absolutely everything before the move, but that's just, that's not gonna happen today. Today we are focusing on jackets and coats. Here's like a little section of jackets. I have a bunch of coats in the coat closet downstairs as well that I'll have to pull up because I'm gonna try on everything. We're gonna declutter. We're gonna find stuff that I don't need, make room for stuff. I'm not gonna go out and buy more. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna do it. I don't, that's not a promise, ouch. That's what I get for lying. Anyway, we're gonna try on everything together. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like decluttering videos and let me know what should I keep? What should I not keep in the comments? I like to hear your thoughts. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> okay, so this is the pile of jackets and coats and pullovers that we're working with. This is Luna over here. I did make the bed, but Luna needed her furry blanket to burrow under, so... <laughs> That's what's going on over here. She's extremely high maintenance. You have no idea. Um, excuse me, Miss Bean. Can I interview you for this video? Okay, I get it. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with something easy, but also kind of challenging. So I got this blazer about a year ago, maybe about a year and a half ago from Target. And it is really cute. I still really like it, but the sad, sad truth of it is I've worn it like twice in the last year, year and a half. And I've definitely had many opportunities. And I don't know if it's just because it's like in the back of my closet, or maybe it's just that Texas isn't all that conducive to like cute layering. And this is like a cute layering kind of thing, especially like rolled up like this. Like I feel very like breakfast club with it rolled up like this, like, hello. I'm cute, right? Mm? Kinda, maybe? I don't know. I need to pull my mirror over. Probably should not put a mirror in front of the door, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, with this turtleneck, it's a definite no, but it is cute with like a t-shirt. Okay, I said that this was an easy one, but maybe I lied because I'm torn on this. I feel like I just need to wear it more. I mean, isn't this why we're here? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the baby pile. Maybe you guys should vote. Tell me down below what do you think? Should I keep it and wear it more or should I just get rid of it because I haven't been wearing it? I give myself passes too much, so maybe you guys can be very harsh with me. I can handle it. I promise. Okay, next up we have a jacket. It's a leather jacket from All Saints. I got it for my birthday last year from Grant. I really love it. I'm definitely not getting rid of this. I will try it on for you. Just in case you wanna see what it looks like on, this is what it looks like on. It does have a weird smell. I talked about this on my vlog channel recently and a lot of you guys gave me really good tips. I tried one of them. I need to try more of them because as I'm putting this on right now, it's still got a little bit of a scent. I don't know what happened here. Like I swear it did not smell like this whenever I got it, but it has just kind of like a chemically scent, which is so sad because this is a nice jacket. It's a jacket I really like. I still wear it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. I'm still in love with it. I'm definitely keeping it. I've always wanted a jacket like this and it was like a full circle. I am finally cool guy, Uncle Jesse. 
I have the jacket, half Marcy. All right, next up we have a sweater, a grandma sweater. This is also from Target. I remember exactly when I bought this. It was whenever I broke my elbow and I couldn't fit my arms through anything but it was cold outside so I needed something and I got this and honestly since that time in my life I have not been wearing this. I mean lately I have been looking at cardigans online and kind of like wishing for them and I don't think about this one. I think it's because it's purple. Does it look good with this? Do I look like a teacher? Not that there's anything wrong with teachers. Do not get me wrong. I used to want to be a teacher. I would still totally be a teacher. Should I become a teacher? I think I like this and it's still in good condition because I haven't worn it a ton in the last year. And I mean, okay, we just hit a giant block of cozies. If you don't know what I mean when I say cozies, I mean these things, they're going everywhere. Oh no, we had a cozy avalanche. I mean these things. They are just fluffy and cozy. I don't really care what they're made of. I like them oversized. I really like them any size, any color, any print. I don't care where they're from. Amazon, Express, Nordstrom, whatever. I will wear them. I have such a big collection now. And honestly, I will try them on for you, but I'm already gonna say I don't wanna get rid of any of them. Actually, there's one I wanna get rid of, but I will try them on for you just for fun. Let's just make this like a cozy montage. You wanna do that? Let's do that. That's a lot of cozies. Does anyone need that many cozies in their life? Honestly, I think I do. And this is the only one that I actually wanna get rid of. And it's from Express and it does look identical to the pink one that I just showed you before this one, but the quality is different. That pink one was the very first one that I ever got from Express. It's velour, it's so thick, it's fuzzy velour on the inside and the outside. And I don't know, there's just something different about it. It feels better. And this one is not the same and I'm just not in love with the color. And so I don't reach for this one as much. And you have to believe me, I do reach for all the other ones. They're pretty much the only thing I wanna wear when it's cold outside. I definitely wouldn't say they're the most attractive thing to wear 24 seven, but this is just who I am now. I'm a blob. This one has to go. Okay, moving on from the cozies a little bit. Here is a little puffer jacket that I got from ASOS a few years ago. And I actually do get a lot of wear out of this one. It's just a super easy thing to throw on. From what I remember, it was pretty inexpensive. I love the way it fits. It's super warm, but it's not too warm. So it works for taxes. Really, I just love this one. I'm definitely not getting rid of it, but it is starting to show signs of age. Like it's pilling a little bit around this band down here, but I'm definitely keeping it because it is just so functional for me and I use it all the time. Here is something I know I need to get rid of. It somehow survived through a few rounds of decluttering and it basically looks like a sheep. I don't even know what you call this material. It's very soft, it's very cozy. Anyone would love a blanket of this material and that's why I got it. It is so super cozy, but when I put it on, I do not look like a cute fall girl on Instagram. It's just not a good look for me. I like things that are oversized and soft, but something about this where it has like the hairs that are like sticking up, not hairs, that's disgusting. Threads that are sticking up and it makes it even more cozy. It's just, it looks kind of cheap. Somehow something like this makes other girls look like really cute and fall and cozy and wonderful. And me, it makes me look like I gave up. I'm kind of ready to do that. I'm kind of ready to be a blob in a cozy, but like for some reason, the fact that this is open, it just changes everything. I gotta get rid of this. Okay, I was kind of dreading this moment. So this is a jacket that I bought from Nordstrom Rack, I don't even know when, like a year or two ago. It's from Free People, so it was super expensive and I got it for a good discount at Nordstrom Rack. But to tell you the truth, I don't wear it that much. And I don't know why. I love this, it's white, 
faux fur. It's super cozy. It's not too warm, so it would definitely work for more days than less days here in Texas. I absolutely love the stitching on the back. It extends over the shoulders onto the front. It's got kind of like a shawl collar like this, but then the front of the jacket kind of comes to two points right here. And I don't know what it is about that. I don't like it. I don't think it looks cute on me. It just looks like front heavy and like droopy and drapey and flowy and blobby. And it does have one snap closure here, but somehow that just does not help. In the back, it's even, it cuts like right above your butt. In the front, it's like, what is it doing? I don't know. So like, I love this jacket, but I also hate it. And I also got a good deal on it. So like, I have mixed emotions, but I feel like the right thing to do is to get rid of it, but I really don't want to. <sighs> We're gonna think about it. Okay, clearly I need an intervention for my hoarding tendencies, but for now, what I have at my disposal is to put myself on a time limit and we're gonna do this like a lightning round. So things are speeding up, let's get this done. Okay, next up we have another cardigan. I actually got this one secondhand and it's a 100% cashmere cardigan. I have worn this one definitely more than the purple one. I think it's worth keeping. It's definitely a grandma sweater, but I like it. I don't care. You know what? I don't think I'm even going to try this one on. This one's from Target. I do think it's really, really cute, but it's a cropped hoodie. And I don't know if I'm a cropped hoodie type of person. Actually, I might be a cropped hoodie type of person, but I don't want to be this cropped hoodie person. So we're just gonna let go of this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've had this little like windbreaker style jacket for so long. It's from Forever 21 from at least like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I have no idea. It's kind of like slick and satiny. This sounds horrible. Honestly, it kind of looks horrible, but I usually use it for like working out and I don't really care how I look in that situation. So we're keeping it. It's functional. Oh, I love this jacket. Spoiler, I am keeping this one. I ordered this one from Bandeau in 2017, 2016. I think it's so cute pink skies ahead and it's kind of like a coach jacket. I feel like I get a weird amount of attention when I wear this and I do wear this and it kind of makes me uncomfortable and I don't really love that but it is like bright shiny red so like I don't blame anyone for giving me funny looks but I still love it so I feel like that says a lot definitely keeping it. Honestly it's not very comfortable like the inside of it a little bit scratchy but I just love it. Okay this jacket. This is when things get real. Let's take a walk down memory lane. This jacket is from Hollister. I wonder if they have like an archive of past labels from different brands because this one is probably from 2002-ish. I don't know. I was definitely like in middle school or early high school or early middle school. I have no idea when I got this jacket, but it was 35 years ago. This jacket is so old. I don't know if this was like big on me back then or what, but I still love this jacket. We have gone through so many things together. Like I liked it for a while back when I got it and then I hated it for a really long time, but I kept it forever because obviously I keep everything. Now I like it again. I'm obviously going to keep it. It's held up so well. Like, thank you so much, Hollister. I haven't been in a Hollister in 800 years, but they do good things, or at least they did. And I feel like this is in style. At this point, it's vintage, right? It has a nice zip. It's nicely padded. It's really comfy. It's not obnoxious. This is my Hollister jacket from middle school that I still wear. Keeping it. Next up, another jacket, I have to say. I'm keeping it. I'm not even gonna consider getting rid of it. This is a brown suede jacket. I got it from Nordstrom Rack, I don't know, four years ago, maybe five years ago. It's fringy, it's crazy. It does a lot of this. I love it. We've got zippers on the sleeves. It fits so nicely. It is so rare for me to find sleeves that actually fit at a nice length and it's not huge around the middle. Like this was made for me. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. I feel like the fanciest cowgirl when I wear it and that's a good thing for me. So I'm keeping it. And again, I got a good deal on it. So we have good memories together. Ooh, okay. I don't really know how this got into the pile cause it's not really a coat. It's not really a jacket. It's more of like a nighttime poncho like a nightgown, but also a cozy. I don't even know how to describe it. 
The brand is Kenzie, I think. I've had it for a really long time. I don't really know what this pattern is. It has a hood. It is a poncho and it's not really long enough. It's just like a little short in the butt area to where it's like a little uncomfortable because obviously this is like a winter thing. It's got a cozy hood on it, but like you don't want your butt out. I don't know, I just wear like shorts with it, but it's just like on principle, that's annoying. Am I right? Probably not. This has to go. Wait, oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized I have more. This is not good. The light is going down. Please forgive me. We're doing a lightning round. We are, we are, we are. Okay, this one, I just got this one from a thrift store. I'm definitely not getting rid of it because I haven't even worn it yet. I just got it. Is it not amazing? I absolutely love it. Obviously keeping it. Okay, this next one is from J. Crew. I've had it for, I don't know, three, four years and I still love it. I get so much use out of it. I've worn it so much. It's held up really, really nicely. I can take this faux fur thing off the hood and then it works a lot better if I'm dressed up. I love this coat. I should get this coat in more, co actually I have enough coats. I should not get more coats, but I would consider getting this coat in more colors just because it has been so useful. I'm definitely keeping it. Okay, next I have a puffer. I also got this one secondhand. It's also from J. Crew but it's a longer black puffer. So I felt like it was gonna be really, really functional. Honestly, I haven't gotten to wear it a ton, but I have worn it since it's been cold because I just got it, I think last summer. It's a good warm coat. I'm definitely glad that I found it. I got a deal on it and I'm definitely going to keep it. Okay, next we have a jean jacket. I got this one a couple of years ago from ASOS and it's really fitted. I like how it fits but at the same time it just doesn't feel like warm and cozy it kind of just feels like a shirt like it's very thin and it's almost a little bit stretchy and it's like tight i'm a little bit on the fence about this one i definitely like my other jean jacket better which makes me think i probably need to let this one go so let's just say i'm gonna get rid of this one okay absolutely ridiculous time why do i have two fuzzy faux fur brown jackets this one is from abercrombie I don't know where this one is from. This one does not have a label. I know I bought this one for my Royal Tannenbaum's Margot costume that I did a few years ago. It's really nice, but honestly, I completely forgot I had it. The jackets I just brought in were from another closet that I pretty much never go into, so not a good thing. I probably need to get rid of both of these because like, when am I gonna wear this? But I legitimately used to wear this one. Why do I still like it? I like this. <laughs> I need to let it go, but I like it. I look like a big fuzzy bear and I like it. <laughs> we are gonna get rid of one of them though. To be honest with you, I cannot help but like how long this one is and it is really fuzzy and cozy and furry and I like it. I think that I'm leaning towards this one over the other one, but I think I wanna ask Grant's opinion. He's probably gonna say get rid of both of them and he's probably right. Oh, 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 okay. I think I got this one for Black Friday last year. I don't know, it was some big sale that happened. It's also from J. Crew. They have a tall section, which really works for me, especially with coats. Like I said, I just hate when coats don't have sleeves long enough, it irks me to no end. Why be cozy everywhere? And then like your wrists are just like slightly exposed. That's just wrong to me. So I got this from the tall section. And to me, this is just like a grown up black coat. It's very basic, it's nothing fancy. This is functional. So like I'm wearing a pretty dress, I'm going to some kind of like evening cold weather event and I'm trying to look classy. I'm trying to class it up. I just felt like to be a grown up lady, I had to get a coat like this and I'm glad that I did. But to be honest with you, I don't wear it very much. I got it late last year, so I haven't had a ton of opportunities to wear it, but I'm glad I have it and I'm definitely keeping it. Okay, I can already tell you this has got to go. It is like a blush pink bomber. I got this and I wanted to like it and I wore it a little bit, but like, no, I don't want this. Okay, this is another black J. Crew coat. Anyone surprised? Probably not at this point. This one, however, has toggles. So it always makes me feel like I am Paddington Bear. Does he wear a coat like this? I feel like he does. That's what it makes me feel like. It also makes me feel like a fisherman. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I was going for when I bought this coat, but I really haven't gotten a ton of use out of it. I don't know what it is about this coat, but it just, 
does not make me feel like a grown-up woman and not that that's super important to me I'm not always looking for clothes like does this make me look grown up enough? I don't really need that like I look like a grown woman I'm okay, but like something about this just comes off childish to me. It's the toggles. Okay, it's cute It's in good shape. I like it, but I just never wear it. I don't know why so sad but I gotta let it go. Okay, so now that I have absolute chaos on my hands, they are in piles, it just doesn't look like it. Trust me. All right, I feel like we made some progress. I am so sorry. It has gotten so dark in this room as I've been recording this video. The sun just did not come out today. I'm sorry about that. Let me know in the comments, what did I wanna get rid of that I shouldn't have gotten rid of? What did I not wanna get rid of that I definitely should have gotten rid of? Let me know in the comments your vote matters, it doesn't really matter. But I find it interesting. Okay, one more thing. Let me know in the comments, what section of my closet should I declutter next? What do you wanna see me attack? I thought about doing jeans, but I kinda of feel like that would be boring. I definitely need to clean out my jeans, but I don't know if it would be interesting enough to do it in a video. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. You can also find me on social media. It's Leanne Says Everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, come say hey. And if you wanna see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Wooden hanger for you. The cozy is so big and so cozy, it broke this horrible plastic hanger. Goodbye, you are fired. Okay, the cozy combined with the turtleneck, I feel like I look like a douche. Blobs out.